We're gonna start with Miss Perry. State your name. Britta Perry. Have you ever had any thoughts of violence towards Pierce Hawthorne? No. Lie. I mean, we all want to slap him now and again, but I didn't kill him. And all your sexual fantasies about Pierce Hawthorne, none of them involved his murder? What? No. But you have had sexual fantasies about Mr. Hawthorne. No! What kind of question is that? I'm asking the questions just as Mr. Hawthorne wrote them down, I assure you. Mr. Winger, state your name. Jeffrey Winger. Are you gay? No. Are you sure you're not gay? Yes. Gay murder says what? What? He's telling the truth. I've been instructed to point out that that means you're gay. Miss Bennett, mm -hmm. state your name. Shirley Bennett. Are you a dishonest person? No. She thinks that's true. Uh, you could have just said no. I'm watching you acting scientific and then add your little two cents every now and again. Huh? Continue. Is it true that you're a platinum level donor with the pro life organization prenatalpatriots.org? What? Keep it cool, girls. It's my money. It's my choice. Yeah, well, if I wanted the government in my uterus, I'd fill it with oil and Hispanic voters. Keep it frosty, ladies. Don't let your goats get got. Mr. Barnes, state your name. Troy Barnes. Oh, I meant to say Buds Carlton. You did mean to say Buds Carlton. <laughs> Barnes. Did you get angry when Mr. Hawthorne told you Fat Albert died of diabetes? Yes, like any American would. Angry enough to murder him? No. Is it true that you and Abed Nadir have an elaborate doomsday escape plan to be used in the event of zombie attacks? We may have a designated rendezvous point and a couple of bug-out bags filled with gold coins and condoms just in case we need to bargain our way onto a boat. The gold coins are for buying food. Does your doomsday plan account for the welfare of any of your other friends? Pass? Answer the question. No. Troy, rude. It's a doomsday plan, not a picnic plan. Do you really want to see the horrors we might have to endure just to get on a boat? I guess not. That's a lie. Ah. He's doing it again. Pierce is doing it again. Mr. Chang, state your name. Benjamin Franklin Chang, ready to deal out the truth. Nothing to hide. Let's do this. Have you ever masturbated in the study room? Mr. Nadir. State your name. Abba Nadir. Have you ever 9-11 anyone? Nope. When you were a child, did you ever kill a squirrel with a slingshot and were surprised that you felt nothing and wondered if you were capable of doing it to a human? No. Ooh. Do you and Troy still actively use Jeff's Netflix account without his permission? Wait, what? You told Pierce that? You logged in at our place and never logged out, so we use it. Is that why my review of The Grey is constantly changing? Yes, yeah, stop giving it four stars. I like Liam Neeson. Then send him a message about the roles he chooses. Look, this is not the issue. You're stealing from me. And as your roommate, you're making me an accomplice. I had no idea. Lie. Why would I even try that? State your name, please, miss. Annie Edison. Miss Edison, did you use your exceptional intelligence and organizational skills to plot the foolproof murder of Pierce Hawthorne? Oh, and no. Is it true that you overcharged Troy and Abed for their share of the rent? Pierce. Annie? Yes, but for a good reason. You guys know you're bad with money. I padded your share of the rent by $10, and I've been putting it into a savings account that yields 4%. You'll be thanking me in six years when you find out you have $86. That's jacket money. How oh, did you hear that, Abed? We've been washing paper plates and making our own toothpaste. But don't you worry, when we have robot bodies on the moon, we can share a free jacket. Annie, you should know better than to hoard money. That's a stereotype. Was that anti-Semitism? No, that's sensitivity. It's anti-Semitic to do things like that when you know full well you're Jewish. Whoa. We could have bought a tire for our tire swing with that money. Or your own Netflix account? Your racism is flawed. As if you were ever gonna get that.